What is going on you guys? In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the weapon traits on the flame elemental weapons. And um, I either have just the basic attack or an attack buff and the durability up plus on the weapons. And for this video we're just going to be looking at the uh, the flame weapons because if I included every single um, elemental weapon it might be a little, a little bit of a lengthy video. But anyways, um, the one thing I do want to get out of the way in the spreadsheet that I made, there is a formula for the critical hit. And the way the critical hit works is it's different for every weapon, meaning because of the number of combo, because the one-handed weapons get a four-hit combo, the two-handed weapons get a two-hit combo because it's a um, it's a two motion, the YY, that's a two-hit combo. And then the spears get five hit combos. And the reason I say it's different is because the durability will determine, you know, how the formula works. But it's pretty super simple. Let me let me just explain it. Okay, so the um, the flame blade has a durability of. Let's see. Let me pull it up real quick. The flame blade has a durability of thirty six hits. Right. And um, the way you the way the formula would work with this one would be it you know this one has no trouble uh, working with the formula because uh, what you want to do is you have to divide the durability by the number of hits per combo. So in this case, you would have to divide thirty six by four, which would be nine. And then why why do you have to do that to find out the maximum um, output damage? So let's say, okay, 24 is the base attack, right? So there's four hits in every combo, and the last hit is um, does double the damage. So you would do 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus 48. So that's one, that's one combo, right? That's one four-hit combo. So then to find the total damage, you would divide the durability by the number of hits per combo, so four goes into thirty nine into thirty six nine times. So that's a total of nine combos that you can do. So you take your total for the twenty four plus twenty four plus twenty four plus forty eight equals one twenty. So then you multiply that by nine. So you come out with a um, a total of one thousand and eighty. So that's easy, you know. That's pretty simple. That, but that's because it has an even. You know, that's because the number of hits per combo goes into the durability an even number of times now let me explain it with the uh if there was some remainders left okay so the frost blade has a durability of 30 and it has a, f a number of uh it has a four hit combo so but four can only go into 30 in um an even number of seven times because seven times four is 28 right so what you do is um you do uh 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 40 so that's your you know for your four hit combo and you do times seven because four goes into 30 an even number of seven times right a whole number of seven times so you get 700 so then you're left with two hits but remember that the last hit always does double the damage so what you do is you do plus 20 for the first hit and then you do plus 40 for the last hit so you come out with uh, 760 now the formula is I read it out so where you can just input the number and it should work out just fine. But if it doesn't, then you're just gonna have to manually do it out. Meaning that you know you have to you're gonna have to write it out, I guess. And just remember that we're not talking about decimals when we divide. Meaning 30 divided by four, yeah, it's not <clears throat> technically 30 divided by four is 7.5. But we're not using, you know, fractions or decimals or anything. We're using whole numbers. So 730 divided by 4 is a whole... Four. So you want to look at it at a different point. You want to look at it as how many times does 4 go in a 30 and even number, or, you know, a whole number of times. So 4 times 7 is 28, right? And then you divide... And then you have two hits left. And then... So the first hit it does normal damage plus 20. And then the final hit does plus 40 because it does double the damage because it'll break. So if the formula confuses you a little bit, just look at it that way. And you should have no problem um, reading it. And then maybe you'll understand it eventually. 
Okay, but uh, enough rambling. Let's get into the actual video. As I said, we're just going to be using the uh, flame weapons. And um, in the next videos, we're going to be using the other ones, obviously. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so we can take out the Lionel without using any buffs and just using the Durability Up Plus in the Attack 55 Great Flame Blade. Now, I believe the plus 21 is the highest that it can get. I managed to get it twice in a row. So I'm not sure if that's entirely correct, but if you guys do happen to stumble upon any of these weapons with a higher attack, then feel free to leave it in the comment section and I will update the data sheet. But anyways, now that we took care of it with the Great Flame Blade, we're going to have to... Um, we're going to showcase the regular flame blade, the durability up plus, the flame spear, and the durability up plus flame spear. See if those can take them out without um, needing any attack buffs. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, well, as you see, I was trying to um, get it to where I got him down to health and I could just throw the weapon and break at him, but that didn't work out. So, if you were to try and just use the Flame Blade and the Flame Spear and Durability Up Plus, then you would need some attack buffs in order to take it down. But if you had, like, an attack, um, an attack increase on one of the weapons, then that should be enough to take it out. But in this case, we weren't able to take it down with just the weapons themselves. Um... But yeah, that was it for this video, you guys. This was the weapon traits for the flame weapons. Uh, if you did enjoy it, you know, show your support, leave a like, all that good stuff. But as always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.